Shotu Production at Kyoya Distiller and Brewer. At Kyoya's brewery, shochu is produced manually in small batches with carefully selected ingredients using large ceramic casks. The sweet potatoes, buckwheat, and rice used for some varieties of Kyoya's quality shochu are grown at the farms of our affiliate, AgriCompany, with organic fertilizers and a rice duck farming system. No chemical pesticides are used, and we insist on environmentally sustainable practices. Now, let us introduce how these ingredients are grown at our affiliated farms. Before being placed in the nursery beds, the seed sweet potatoes are disinfected with wood and bamboo vinegar. The disinfected seed sweet potatoes are placed neatly in the greenhouse nursery beds. After the seed sweet potatoes are lightly covered with soil and the surfaces are flattened, rice husks are spread over the top. After the nursery beds are watered, the rice husks help to retain moisture. Rice and sweet potatoes for our select products are grown at our affiliate, AgriCompany. To ensure safety, our organic fertilizer is made in-house. Kyoya is dedicated to producing shochu that is natural and environmentally friendly. At the AgriCompany farms, our shochu ingredients are grown with strict adherence to the use of organic fertilizers, natural soil preparation, and no chemical pesticides. In March, when mountain cherry blossoms bloom, we transplant the early season rice seedlings. By early May, the seed sweet potatoes have become healthy young plants. The healthiest rooted stems are selected and cut to be used as slips for planting. In the sweet potato field, raised beds are covered with plastic mulch films, which have been prepared with planting holes at even intervals. The sweet potato slips are then inserted through these holes. Ducks are set loose in the rice paddies as the rice grows. Ducks eat insects and weeds, and their droppings provide natural fertilizer for the rice. The early season rice is harvested in August. When summer is ending and autumn is approaching, the sweet potato harvest begins. After the sweet potato harvest, the buckwheat is sowed. The buckwheat is then harvested in November. Let's take a look now at our shochu production process. First, the sweet potatoes are rinsed thoroughly with water. We peel our sweet potatoes differently for each product. The peeling method greatly affects the shochu aroma and flavor. Right after peeling, the sweet potatoes are steamed so that all of their sugar content will be retained with no loss. Now for the first stage of shochu production. The process begins by preparing koji rice. Rice is put in a drum to be rinsed. After rinsing, the rice is immersed in water and steamed. The steamed rice is cooled to a temperature slightly higher than body temperature, and spores of koji mold are sprinkled over it. The koji mold proliferates overnight in the drum.
The rice with koji is then transferred to the koji incubator and left to stand another night to allow the koji to fully proliferate. Water is poured into ceramic casks, to which yeast and the koji rice are added. To maintain an even temperature, the casks are stirred and fermentation continues for about six days. This is the first moromi mash. Next, we move to the second stage of production. Steamed and cooled sweet potatoes are mixed with the first moromi mash and spring water. The mixture is sent to large ceramic casks. The moromi mixture is carefully stirred with a paddle and fermented for 10 days. The koji produces enzymes and citric acid. The citric acid prevents bacteria from contaminating the moromi mash. Also, while the enzymes convert the starch from sweet potatoes into sugar, the shochu yeast breaks down the sugar into alcohol and carbon dioxide. This process, called multiple parallel fermentation, characterizes the advanced technology found in Japan's traditional alcohol production methods. Throughout the fermentation process in large ceramic casks, our shochu is produced with meticulous attention in small batches. Now the second moromi mash is ready to be distilled. For Kyoya's honkaku, or authentic shochu, the second moromi is distilled only once, using the single distillation still. This method allows the shochu to retain the rich flavors of its ingredients. After the long maturing process in a temperature-controlled cellar, the shochu is filtered and bottled. Each individual shochu bottle is carefully checked before shipment. Now, let's look at how shochu can best be enjoyed. Shochu on the rocks has a delicate and fruity taste. Oyu wari, or shochu with hot water, offers a full and rich flavor. Add four parts shochu to six parts hot water, slightly warmer than body temperature. Shochu warmed in a teapot like kurojoka over direct heat brings out an especially rich taste. The marriage of shochu and cuisine. For sushi, kameshizuku or kappa no sasoi mizu on the rocks is recommended. For sashimi, Shochu on the rocks or with water is ideal. The shochu shown here are among our recommendations. Kando and other shochu shown here are good with strongly seasoned dishes, such as fish simmered in soy sauce based broth. They also go well with meat dishes, like braised pork belly. For lightly seasoned dishes, such as steamed sea bream with sake, samurai dance and kanekyo kando are excellent. For Chinese dishes that are strongly seasoned, sora to kaze to daichi to on the rocks is a great match. Shochu on the rocks or with crushed ice goes well with pizza and other Western dishes. 
To go along with cheese and chocolate after dinner, we recommend these shochu varieties. Like white wine, chilled samurai dance offers a crisp and fruity flavor. Shochu with crushed ice is the perfect cocktail for a hot summer day. The Nichinan Seacoast in Miyazaki Prefecture. Nichinan is blessed with a rich natural environment of clear skies, cooling breezes, and rich earth. We give vitality to people's lives by producing our shochu with these natural blessings and the energy of the earth. Kyoya Distiller and Brewer Company Limited was founded in 1834. We continuously pursue new tastes in shochu while never forgetting to carry on our tradition. <laughs>